Hello folks and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm just going to quickly take you through one of the updates that's been made to Adobe Premiere Pro in June 2014. Uh, there's been a number of little updates um, to the software and uh, the one I'm going to go through is one that um, has particularly struck me and that I think you'll all find quite useful. What this update does is it allows us to add an effect to what's known as a master clip and that effect then runs down all different segments of that master clip in the timeline. Now let's just quickly explain what I mean by a master clip. If I look at this clip here, this is MV10017. As you can see up here, this is MV10017 as well. And I'm using that as my master clip or my main clip in the timeline. This shortcut will add the effect to the master clip up here and it will then be added down the timeline and added to this trimmed part of the master clip here and this trimmed part of the master clip here. Let's give it a go. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to grab RGB curves. Now it used to be the case that doing it the old way I'd grab RGB curves and put it on there and I'd then put it on there and make my adjustments. What you can now do though is grab RGB curves or any effect that you want to use, grab it and actually put it up on the master clip here in the source monitor. As you can see, a little fist hand pops up with a plus symbol next to it. If I release it, that effect is now on the master clip. If you go to effect controls here, you may not actually see it. And the reason is this, if you look down here, I've actually got the trimmed portion of the clip selected and there's no effect on that. If, however, I go back to the main master clip here and do a double click on it to select it, I can now go to effect controls and there it is on the master clip. Now to make life a little bit easier, I'm going to undock the effects control panel and just move it over here just to give us a bit of a better idea of what we're doing. And I've done that just so you can get a better idea of how this works. If I select this trim here, you can see the effect control panels disappeared. Even though we know we've applied the effect to 0017, it's on the main master clip, but not on this trim. If I click here on 0017, the effect is still not showing up in the control panel here. However, if I go back to the main master clip, select it here, you can see that it's now come up in the effects control panel. What this means is I can make some adjustments here to the master clip. Let's say I want to take out some red. I can drain it like so. The master clip has been adjusted here. Not only is it on the trimmed clip here, it's also on this trim here. But as we can see, if I select this clip, the effect is not registered in the effect control panel here. So I can't adjust it. It's only registered if you click on the main master clip in the source monitor here, like so. I might want to say add red then. As you can see, it's boosting up the reds and that's now on this trimmed clip here. And it's on this trimmed clip here. And as one final reminder, if I want to access the master clip and the effect I've just put on it, select the clip here and hey presto, it's in the effect control panel. So if I keep re-editing this, in fact, let's give it a go. I might, um, this, I don't know, just for the sake of argument, let's trim another bit of it here. So I'll take a bit of it there and another bit there. If I drag that down to the timeline, it doesn't actually match, but it doesn't matter. If you look at it, it's still got the effect adjustment on it. OK, folks, it's a nice labor saving device and a very good way of adding effects to multiple trims from a master clip. OK, folks, hope you found that useful. See you in the next tutorial.